起来激动节拍，在放肆拉扯情绪飘带。掉那糟糕的长裙摆，总会有最好的安排，别刻意胡来。谁总在微笑的热带，再造乌云的作怪？好在站稳脚踝不算太坏。谁总在悲伤的寒带，装填阳光的青睐？难怪冰山难掩嘴角盛开。最好的安排，外拒绝期待更好的未来。Baby tell me why 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 有我在。最好的安排，外拒绝期待更好的未来。Baby tell me why 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 有我在。Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am, but according to our system, you've already checked out. I've checked out? Yes. Who checked me out? Uh, I can't see that information, but I think it's one of the program staff members. If you want to know who it is specifically, you can ask them. Thank you. Sure. Zhou Fang! What's wrong? Well, someone checked me out of my room. Oh, really? Where will you stay now? I'm heading home, but I'm not quitting the competition. The staff got me a room. You can stay with me. No need. Thank you. <sighs> I see. I'm guessing our generous Mr. Song will be arranging a presidential suite for you. Of course he wouldn't want to stay in my room. I have to go. Hey, Do Fang. You're really amazing. Coincidence or not, you've been a trending topic for two days in a row. I feel bad for Song Lang. Until now, he's still stuck in an emergency meeting. I think he's trying to stamp out the scandal to keep you in the competition. This incident has had a negative influence on both our station and the One Fang Group. We'll suffer huge losses. It's not worth it, Mr. So. Although many variety shows are scripted to an extent, you've emphasized running the show with transparency and fairness. The situation's bad, but you wouldn't resort to false advertising, right? We can all agree that the One Fun Group will suffer, the largest loss of all. However, other sponsors' interests will also be harmed one way or another. Shouldn't we offer them an explanation? Thank you, everyone, for your valuable comments. But I think that we should put our trust in Mr. Song. We know he's capable of solving this kind of problem. Let's be patient for now and give Mr. Song some time, okay? Shall we take a break? I have something to say as the main sponsor. First, we can't allow Zhou Fang to quit. And this is why. As all of you are aware, I'm the one who caused this problem. I'm responsible. I'm the one to blame. If you're suggesting a contestant should take the blame for me, I won't agree to it. It's not fair. Let's take a look at the situation again. Yes, we're under fire from the media. The things they say might not be good, but we're still getting lots of publicity. Publicity equals traffic equals money. I'm sure you all know how important traffic is to a business. So I believe Zhou Fang should stay in. With her skills and her abilities, I'm pretty sure by the end of the competition, she'll change people's opinions towards her. At this point, the Wan Fang group will surely bear the largest losses. That's all for tonight. Uh, Mr. Song. Huh? Mr. Mr. Song, huh? sir.
What's the matter? Mr. Song, please let me quit. What? All this is just too much for me. I can't handle it, neither can my mom. She even cried. Maybe I'm not meant to be a designer. I just realized how hard it is to be a public figure, to be one you need to have a strong heart. So, <laughs> I'd rather quit. I told you not to enter the competition. Despite that, you insisted on doing it. Now that the competition has already begun, you choose this time to tell me you want to quit? Why do you care about what other people say, huh? You never should have entered in the first place. I'm sorry, I'm just a regular person. I really can't handle all this. <sighs> then why are you a designer? You should change careers, this doesn't suit you. If you want to make money, you can just go back to copying other people's work. Don't talk to me about your dreams again. The nerve. Do you think I did something wrong? If one or two people don't like me, maybe we're just incompatible. But if so many people dislike me, doesn't it mean I truly suck? It's not like that, okay? We just got caught in between Song Ling and Luna. You're no match for those sly foxes. But you know what? I used to think you and Song Ling getting together would be good for you, because at least he could help out with your career. But now, come to think of it, I was mistaken. It's too dangerous to stay beside him. He has too many enemies. <sighs> he reminds me of my dad, who was a businessman too. Things must have been very hard for him. <sighs> now I feel bad for my dad. <sighs> I see, so I helped remind you of your father's hard work. Seems my backing out isn't entirely useless. Are you implying I'm an ungrateful daughter? Uh, I never even paid you any rent for using your studio. I was hoping I could change my life with this program, but I guess that's over now. What are you saying, Zhou Fang? The studio is ours. You don't need to pay me any rent. I'm happy that we can run the studio together. Silly girl. Who are you calling a silly girl? You. Silly girl. Coco, come and bite your mother. Coco! I'll bite you first. What are you doing? <laughs> Coco! Come on, where are you? Remember what I told you before? I told you to stay as far away from Songding as possible. You just wouldn't listen. Here, have some fruit. Ah. Mm. <sighs> Now that you've quit, it's time for you to look for a boyfriend. What has Chen Dong been up to? He hasn't visited us in a while. Mom, nothing's ever gonna happen between us. We're nothing more than classmates. But that's precisely why something could happen between you two. You two know each other so well. All right, if you think that it's impossible for you and Chen Dong, then start dating. And also, I think you shouldn't spend your time on that fashion studio anymore. You won't get anything out of it. As a woman, what you need to do is find a steady job and marry a good man. That's what's important. Here we go again. What do you mean? What do you mean by here we go again? Just think about it, Zhou Fang. When problems pop out of nowhere, when you run into any kind of trouble, who will be the first person to stand up for you? Who? Mom, 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 mom. I'm sorry, please calm down. I was wrong. I, I didn't mean that. You misunderstood. I didn't mean it, okay? It's okay, sweetheart. But are you gonna date Chan Dong? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'd rather go on blind dates, okay? And now, what about your career? 
Are you ready to take the civil service exams? Huh? Give me some time to think about it, okay, Mom? You're running out of time. You're nearly 30. I'm only 26. You're nominal age. That's 28. But isn't that almost 30? <sighs> this scandal has had quite a big impact on our company. This week's sales volume has increased, but then along with it, the returns. This could only mean there are users out there who order our products just to return them. This is a huge blow for us, as well as for those brands we're working with. The program has already clarified what happened, and the contestant has withdrawn to prove her innocence. Right. This thing will come to an end soon. It won't last long. Our priority now is to pacify the other brands. In the coming weeks, whatever demands they may ask of us, we should try to meet them. I have a suggestion, but I'm not sure. Go ahead. Your partnership with Luna has attracted a large number of users to our website. I think we should plan our next step in advance. Few companies can come out on top of this industry, like every industry. Our e-commerce website and Suyu Shans have too many similarities. I'm afraid they might overtake us at some point. That's precisely why I've been saying we should focus on brand differentiation, on originality. This is one way to set us apart from the competition. And so far, it's proven fruitful and effective. In the last two years, Wan Feng has grown rapidly, as you can see. Ever since Chumping.com went online, we've sped past the Baisai group in terms of originality. This is our advantage. The next step is to give full play to our advantages. What I want to talk about is the future we're going for in the fashion industry, and how our company can develop with it. I believe that this should be our focus. Mr. Su, she's here. Thank you. Mr. Su. Let me be frank. You've always claimed that nothing is more important than work. But look at you now. Everything you did goes against that claim. We planned this program together. You could even say it's our child. You also invested a ton in it. Then you go on and risk everything for Zhou Fang. Do you want to ruin Wan Fang? You don't have to yell. I risked everything for her. I was just acting responsibly for our company as well as for our program. Don't you agree? We have to treat every contestant in the competition fairly. That's all. <sighs> Excuses. Just admit it, Chen Chen. Didn't he put Joe Fang before us? Zuo. What? Tell him I'm right. Hmm. I think that. No matter what you say, there's no way my boss would make a mistake. You. <laughs> Bootlicker? You're such a bootlicker! But you're right about one thing. Listen, Songling. From now on, you shouldn't call yourself a businessman. You are just a skirt chaser! <laughs> I'm a skirt chaser, huh? I'm a skirt chaser. What am I chasing? Huh? Skirts? Who's skirt? Zhou Fangs, tell me, is there anything attractive about her? Nothing. She insisted on joining the competition, and then she suddenly withdrew, without even notifying me or discussing it with me. Don't you think that was... totally... disrespectful? Fang withdrew because she didn't want to drag you down. Drag me down? You think she could drag me down? She bailed out because... she couldn't handle the stress. She's a hopeless case. Okay, did you hear that? Huh? <laughs> He's speaking up for her again. He cares too much about her. Ling, just admit it. You've fallen in love with Zhou Fang. We can all see it. 
Admit what? What exactly are you guys forcing me to admit? Who said I like her? I don't like her. Let's drink. Look, Zhou Feng, well, she's had a rough time. We should try to help her as much as we can. <sighs> okay, ignore him. <laughs> Mr. Song. Mr. Su, thank you for today. My pleasure. I like working with clever people. You know, showbiz isn't all glamour. It's very hard to survive in this world. Mm -hmm. I may be popular now, but then again, there's no way of telling when I'll be cast aside. So I need to win some awards to prove my <laughs> abilities and my worth so that I can extend my career. Right, Mr. Su? That's right. To do that, You'll need a good team, as well as luck. Don't you agree? With your help, I wouldn't need either of that. <laughs> Mr. Su, please help me from now on. No. We need to help each other. <laughs> well, I should go in. Okay. Good night. Good night. Mm. Mr. Su, I don't understand. We normally get Yi Wei for our projects. Luna and Yi Wei are the hottest celebrities at the moment. I'm sure they see each other as rivals. Are you... Those in control have the right to choose. And I... like keeping my place in the driver's seat. Otherwise, I'll end up like Song Ling. Up until today, he still hasn't realized the person he trusts the most could hurt him. quit the project. You just found out? The two of you were partners. Since you quit, she had to do the same. Oh. Hey, what would you like to drink? I'm good, thanks. I don't understand. She could have looked for another partner. <sighs> Maybe this was her plan all along. What do you mean? Haven't you seen the news? After Luna quit, even her detractors started saying, Oh my, I feel so bad for Luna. How could this happen to her? <sighs> oh, uh, whatever. I've already quit anyway. But you know what? The more I think about it, the more I realize there's still so much to learn. My mother's been nagging me so much, I started to think that I'm not suited for this. She even asked Ho Chen Dong to find a job for me. Do you believe that? Huh? Is that necessary? No, it isn't. She just wants me to have a steady job. But why does she have to ask Ho Chen Dong for help? I don't know. Let's change the subject. So, you want to learn new things? Just take your time. Don't you know that all famous artists spend a lot of time learning their art so that they could make their mark? They were talented in the first place. If they weren't, they never would have achieved anything at all. Are you still Zhou Fang? The Zhou Fang I know would never doubt her talent. <sighs> I used to think Song Ling underestimated me. But after meeting so many designers, I realized that when it comes to either concept or execution, I'm really not as good as I thought I was. Yes, I have come up with some brilliant ideas on occasion, but it doesn't prove a thing. You feel that bad? Mm-hmm. It's all gonna work out. Hey, I'm eating with my parents today. How about you come with me? No thanks, I'll pass. Let me wallow in misery a little bit. I'll visit them when I feel better. <sighs> I swear, you're hopeless. So, how's your relationship with that boy? Is it going well? Our relationship? Look, we just got together, Mom, so I'm not really sure. Well, I'm not sure about him. Relationships are important. Please take them seriously. Listen to me. 
You should be dating with marriage in mind. Mm. Don't just date for fun. Mm. So, if you let me, I can find a better boyfriend for you. Mom, why are you so eager to marry me off? Oh, I'm not Chin Ching, but your father is. Dad, are you that eager to marry me off? I'm not Chin Ching. All right, all right, that's enough. Come on, eat. Chin Ching, get some more. Don't try to lose weight. You're already very thin. <sighs> Thanks, Dad. <sighs> Actually, I know you both want me to be happy. Don't worry. When the time to get married comes, I'll be careful. I want what you guys have. A life filled with marital bliss. <sighs> Coco? Coco? Come here. It's time to eat. <laughs> Good girl. Achoo! What most right now is for you to be happily married. Here we go again. Look, Chin Ching, you're not young anymore, but you still live without a care in the world. When are you planning to settle down, huh? You need to start thinking about marriage and find a man with a good family background who's well educated and responsible. That's the only way, Chin Ching, for your father and I to have no worries when we die. Mom, why are you bringing up these things? You and Dad will live up to a hundred, because you'll still be supporting me when I'm 80. Am I right, Dad? What? Oh, right. Of course. As long as you're happy, my dear. <laughs> Dad, why aren't you drinking today? Should I get some wine? Your dad doesn't drink anymore. Yes, I've quit. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. I'll go get something else. Hmm. You're spoiling her too much. When do you plan on telling her about your condition? You'll be having surgery in a few days. She's not a kid anymore, honey. She'll know sooner or later. It's all right. She shouldn't know about it. Look at her. Her life is free of worries. That's why she's always smiling. And isn't that what matters? I'm home. You're so pretty. Four eyes. You look great without your glasses on. Stop wearing them. Mm hmm. If you say so. You're sweet. All right. Mm -hmm. Did Fang come to see you? Hmm. She came this afternoon. How's she doing? Not very good. She didn't really feel like talking. She just laid there on the sofa. I feel bad for her. What's this? Why are you taking medicine? It's nothing. It just helps me with my allergy. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I noticed that you were almost out of facial masks, so I bought you some online. How thoughtful of you. 
They're skin lightning masks. My skin's not light? We are the brave. Oh. We are the bold. We can be... <sighs> Hello? Seriously? Hmm, all right, all right. I'm gonna be there soon, okay? Hmm. See you. What's the matter? It's my friend. He wants to talk. He asked me to go meet him. <sighs> Same old story. Just go. going now. Okay. <sighs> he really left. You should check up on Fang. What happened? Qinxing said that she's in bad shape. Really bad. Well, I'm in bad shape too. Luo Luo! What? Come here. No. Unless you give me 500. What? Transfer the money. Come here. Hey boss, what can I do for you? What did you do after school? I did my homework with Shendi. Where did you go? His house. That's it? Wait. Have you had dinner? Of course. And who cooked it? Joe. <laughs> I see. So the real reason you called me here is to ask me if Joe Fung is home. No, it's not like that. So is she home? Fine. Since I've already been paid, I'll tell you. Zhou Feng said that today she was in a bad mood. She said she'd take Shendi to his relative, then go for a walk. She went for a walk? Mm-hmm. Where did she go? You've used up the 500. You... Come back. What is it now? <sighs> Where did she go? Generous soul, I won't charge too much. She didn't tell me. <laughs> she really didn't tell me! What a shameless kid.
What are you doing here? Just passing by. Why are you here? I was driving by, and I decided to take a look. How laid back. <sighs> I heard you haven't been doing great. So did you come to gloat? No. But since I'm here, I'll give you a chance. <laughs> you better not miss it. There won't be a second one. A chance for what? A chance to apologize to me. And why should I? Why should you? You quit without any warning. It was inconsiderate. I'm sorry. What? I heard Luna also quit. Don't worry about her. She doesn't do anything that could harm her interests. Hmm. Let me ask you something. Please answer honestly. Go ahead. Do you think I have what it takes to be... a fashion designer? Why are you asking? It's not like you. Hmm. I've come across plenty of obstacles. Every time I did, I would tell myself, I'm gonna pull through. If I keep believing that I'm the best, things will get better. But now that I've suddenly lost my goal, I have no direction or motivation. I started to think about my journey in the fashion industry. Should I continue it? Is it something I'm actually good at? Well, all I know is you won't regret doing it if it's something you like. Hmm. And you? Do you really like doing your job, or is it just something you're good at? Well, this job isn't actually... what I like doing most, but I am pretty good at it. If you could set aside money and status, what would you rather do? If I don't have to consider them... I'd lie down and enjoy the breeze under the sun. That'd be nice. I didn't expect you'd say that. <laughs> I'm a man of many mysteries. All right. Hey, since you're not doing great, don't stay at home. You should go on a trip and have some fun. Hmm. I was thinking of going on a trip, but I've lost a lot of money recently, so I'm on a limited budget. A limited budget, huh? Let me think about it. Uh, what kind of places do you like? Do you like the beach? Mm, very much. Go to Jinshan then. It's close and cheap. Anywhere's fine as long as you're not there. Well, that's going to be very hard. I'll be there wherever you go. Come in. Mr. Wang, you're still working at this hour? I'm keeping a close eye on the online community's reactions. What do you think? Me? To tell you the truth, I was surprised Luna withdrew from the competition. Hmm. Mr. Wang, is it possible that she... Quit on purpose? Mm-hmm. It's possible. But Luna is still a highlight of our program, so all the publicity she's getting is also helping us attract a larger audience. So you're saying we should play along with her? But Mr. Wang, what we have been trying to do is mitigate the effects of the scandal. What she's doing is trying to get more viewers to like her. I think that Luna doesn't really want to quit. It's pretty simple. We can change the rules for the next round. It kills two birds with one stone. First, it pacifies our users. Second, it increases viewership. Okay, Mr. Wang. Don't work too hard now. Mm. I'm gonna go. Okay. Uh -huh. Since we started airing, there have been some twists and turns. But no pain, no gain. Now, in response to the call of many netizens, we have prepared a surprise for all our viewers. I'm glad to announce that the beautiful Luna will once again grace our stage. <laughs> Luna, 
Is there anything you'd like to say to the audience and fans? First of all, I'd like to thank my fans and everyone in this show for bringing me back to the stage. I'm very touched. Uh, actually, I've dreamt of becoming a designer since I was young, and I've always felt connected to this industry. I'm very honored to join this program, and I hope I can advance further together with the other designers. Thank you. Thank you. Chen Cheng? Zhao Fang, what took you so long to get here? Hey, guess what? I've prepared several beautiful dresses. We can have a drink at a bar when we get there. Oh, do you have a US visa? I'll book the tickets. We'll go tomorrow. No need to wait till then. We can actually go right now. Like right now? Mm -hmm. Where to? An ancient town. I came across it online. It's beautiful. It's only an hour's drive from Shanghai. We'll drive there. An hour's drive away? You call this a road trip? It is. We'll be driving down a road, so it's a road trip. <sighs> I shouldn't have prepared all those dresses. Where are you going? To take out the revealing outfits. I don't want to scare away all the local residents. I love you. <laughs> Ugh. Now you see? What did I tell you? It's beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, I want one of those. Look at that. Look, do you want one? I already have one of those. <laughs> but it suits you. <laughs> oh. Dare you answer me when I call your name? I dare not. <laughs> Make my legs look longer. Oh. Hey, where are you going? Mm, looks great. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, tell me why, why, why you're outside. You're outside. Song Lang. Why are you here? Come on. Aren't you welcoming me back? Why should I welcome you? I didn't ask you to come back. You just thought the show was valuable. You got me all wrong, Song Ling. I came back because of you. I watched the interview. You said some nice things, but it all sounded empty. Can you please not be so mean? Am I mean? Aren't you the mean one here? What were you thinking when you set other people up? When have I ever been mean? When did I set people up? Can you not be so biased towards Zhou Fang? I've already made my feelings clear to you. The show will be ending soon, and our contract will expire along with it. Don't come to me again about anything. Even if the contract expires, I'm still gonna need to get what I want. I don't care whether you get what you want or not. Honor the spirit of the contract. Do not drag this out. Look, I don't care what you think, and I can do whatever I want. One more thing. I didn't do anything to Zhou Fang. Even if I did do something, it's because I care about you. 
So what you're saying is, I'm the reason why you're doing these things? You don't really care about me. What you feel for me isn't love. You're just being stubborn. Understand? How do you know what I feel for you isn't love? I believe it is love. You'll never understand. I'm leaving. You should go as well. Wasn't it around here? It's so strange. I remember it being somewhere here. Are you here to have fun or to visit the shop? Come on, let's just keep looking. I'm telling you, the shop is special. We can learn hmm. something new. I know it should be around here somewhere. We just need to go through an alley. Look out for the house number. Where is it? Oh, there. Isn't that That's it? That's it. That's the one. Come on. Hmm. Mister, do you dye the cloth yourself? I do. I use a very old dyeing technique. It's called plant dyeing. Everything here is done like that. Before, when there were no chemical dyes yet, people used plant dyes. And what plant did you use to make this color? It's very unique. <laughs> if you're interested, I can show you. Let's go to the backyard, and you can take a look. Oh, all, all right. right. Follow me. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> take a look. <laughs> wow. It's beautiful. <laughs> you know, very few young people are interested in this, huh? <laughs> this is really amazing. Yeah. As I said, I use dyes extracted from plants, so the colors that can come out are based on the plant's color, which is why, as you can see, the colors don't really vary much. <laughs> so how long have you been doing this? Oh, I've been doing this since I was a kid. It's been in the family for three generations. Although now, my children have grown up and moved to the city. They think this line of business is unprofitable, and so none of them chose to take it up. <laughs> well, if you like, you can go give it a try. Great, yeah. This way.
经历过，即使爱曾经降临过。如果说还记得深海过。